Greetings, this is Daniel from Placemaker, and I'm going to review this new data set that we're offering, partnered up with Nearmap. This is the 3D mesh offered by Nearmap that we're importing and using into SketchUp. And I'm going to show you how to import this data set in correctly into SketchUp. So first, here you have the download file that you would get from us and it's a zipped file and you're gonna right click on it and here I'm using 7-zip or any kind of extracting for a zip and you extract the file and it'll create its own folder and you can go into this folder and there's all sorts of different data in here there's a PDF there's these render proxies covered in other videos the raw files and these are FBX files and then there's an optimized SKP you can see there's four different files in here that correspond that make up this mesh. This mesh is about a kilometer in size, so you can see they're broken up into four different pieces. That's one area. You have a second area, a third location, and all of these merge together like a puzzle. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you is how to actually assemble these pretty quickly within SketchUp itself so that you can have one complete set of models for your 3D near map location. We're going to get started by using the SketchUp location tool, which is easy to find. Just right click on a menu bar, there's location. Anywhere on the top, you just select a location tool and we're going to use the location tool to import in an aerial for the exact location that our 3D near map data set corresponds to because we need to give SketchUp a reference point to easily import and align all the 3D data. So here I have Austin, downtown Austin. I'm going to select the region and click import and that's going to bring that into SketchUp and I have an aerial that's roughly larger than my data set but now I can start easily importing in the data set, the 3D maps into SketchUp. In order to import the 3D near map data, we're gonna need to use Placemaker. And pl you need to use Placemaker 2.2 or greater. And you can see under the extensions Placemaker, there's an option that says add geolocated SKP or SketchUp file. And we're gonna use that to import in each one of the optimized SketchUp files that we had from our download. I'm back in that folder that was unzipped. I'm going to select the first mesh under the optimized SketchUp folder and click open. And you can see it pops it right in there. Now, in the video, I'm showing them coming in pretty quickly. This process can take a little bit of time for them to import, not too long, but it will correctly place them in the right location geo reference you can see it's covering up the aerial go back and do it for the third mesh and again it might take a few moments for it to actually work when you do this but it's correctly aligning the 3d model in sketchup as this broken up grid so if you're getting large areas of near map data this is the most optimized way to import this and even the proxy render objects, but the 3D mesh data that you're gonna get, the optimized SketchUp files into SketchUp. So you're using the location tool to locate the aerial for that area, and then you're using Placemaker 2.2 or greater to bring in the data one piece at a time. But because of the geo-referenced aerial, you can easily get everything aligned quickly and in place. And that's how you can assemble this data in SketchUp itself.